Before I begin my 2022 Top 10 Boy Love Drama list, this is a quick review of the boy love dramas that made my Top 10 list in 2021. The Quirky Korean Drama, Light On Me The Japanese Comedy, My Love Mix-Up The first season of the Korean drama, To My Star Both seasons of the Taiwanese romantic drama, We Best Love The Thai Drama a Tale of 1000 Stars The Thai Comedy, Bad Buddy The Chinese Warrior Series, Word of Honor The Japanese Drama, My Beautiful Man And the Thai Drama, Not Me And now my Top 10 Boy Love Dramas of 2022 Number 10 is the short Korean drama, Blooming an insecure, but popular film student has spent his life trying to hide his past. He has developed an eating disorder, obsessing about his looks and weight. When a handsome and accomplished student moves into his department, he is devastated, but also extremely attracted. The new man is not only beautiful, but proves to be accepting and kind, and a supportive romantic partner. Number 9 is the Japanese drama, Eternal Yesterday. Eternal Yesterday is a peculiar series about two different young men who fall in love. One is popular and outgoing, the other quiet, isolated, and stoic. While the boyfriends are walking home, one of them is hit by a truck and dies. But he continues to walk around as a living corpse through the remainder of the series. The cinematography is beautiful, the acting, directing, and script are unique and exemplary. The series perfectly depicts holding on to memories and love. Number 8 is the Thai drama, Dear Doctor, I'm Coming for Soul. Dear Doctor I'm Coming for Soul, is a creative boy love drama about natural enemies, a doctor who wants to save lives and a grim reaper who escorts souls, and leaves lifeless bodies behind. The doctor is the only person able to see the grim reaper, because of their shared traumatic history. A strong bond forms between the two men and they fall in love with each other. This series addresses the need to accept death as an integral part of life. The actors and production team have crafted an excellent drama, with an idiosyncratic narrative and haunting characters. Number 7 is the Thai series, The Miracle of Teddy Bear. Miracle of Teddy Bear is a clever allegorical comedy drama that appears to be paranormal. A teddy bear who was a gift from a past lover, comes to life as a human. The teddy's owner is a young movie scriptwriter. He has a history of abuse by his father, because he is gay. The trauma has given him equal strong hatred against his now single mother, who he blames for not protecting him. The teddy bear comes to life as a symbol of healing and understanding. This series is funny and light with a rumbling darkness underneath. It is heart-trending and memorable. Number 6 is the short Japanese drama, Old Fashioned Cupcake. Old Fashioned Cupcake is a delightful, stylized drama. The series is a workplace romance between a boss and his subordinate who have worked together for over a decade. The story begins with the two men who have a closely developed relationship as platonic co-workers. They are 10 years apart in age. The boss is feeling depressed and lethargic because he is about to turn 40. His 29-year-old subordinate, who has always been secretly in love with him, takes him on an anti-aging journey. As they enjoy outings, they grow closer to each other, and he learns to live and love again. Number 5 is the Japanese series, Kabe Koji Neko Ayashiki Kun Desires to be Recognized. Kabe Koji Neko Ayashiki Kun Desires to be Recognized, is an ingenious drama, based on an allegorical story. The series depicts two men who embody depression in different ways. One man covers up his trauma and depression with toxic positivity. He is overtly cheerful, constantly smiling, and even becomes an idol for a J-pop group called Shiny Smile. The other man displays his depression through isolation, dark thoughts, sleep disturbances, and sudden outbursts of irritation. The two contrasting men, an idol and a bar a manga artist, find that they need each other for love and support. Number 4 is the short Korean drama, Semantic Error. Semantic Error is a brightly colored, brilliant comedy of enemies to lovers. It is witty, charming, and intelligently crafted. The actors are flawless in their performances, depicting a stoic, serious, neurodivergent computer program student, and a free-spirited, impulsive design student. The conflict between the two students moves through stages of revenge, fascination, exasperation, confusion, and eventually love. The snappy dialogue and pithy scenes are clever and entertaining. Number 3 is the Thai drama, 180 Degrees Longitude Passes Through Us. 180 Degrees Longitude Passes Through Us, is a remarkable drama about grief. 
The entire series is set mostly in one space, with three characters. All three characters are grieving over the loss of the same man, who died many years ago. The acting and script are exceptional. The tale is riddled with bitterness, passion, and sexual tension. The creative team of 180 degrees longitude passes through us, have constructed a distinctive drama that transforms the Thai boy love industry. Number 2 is the second season of the Thai drama, To My Star. The second season of the boy love drama, To My Star, is a heart-rending journey between two estranged lovers. The narrative is developed cautiously, slowly revealing the reasons behind the sudden disappearance of one partner. To My Star delves into deep, psychological issues, trauma, and self-loathing. It dives into vulnerability and the imperfection of realistic love. The acting in this series is superb. A unique dynamic exists between the two main characters, that is created by the history of an entire village. The production is unique, dark, and ultimately heartwarming. Number 1 is the Thai drama, Kin Porsche. Kin Porsche is a phenomenal drama series. It advanced the boundaries and quality level of Thai boy love productions. Not only is the content of Kin Porsche more adult, with more explicit sex scenes, including BDSM and torture. The series has beautifully crafted relationships, and deeply developed characters. Each episode runs a gamut of emotions, and encompasses the realistic challenges of a group of men whose lives are controlled by the Mafia. Kin Porsche has a strong sense of loneliness, burden of responsibility, love between brothers, and empathy between lovers. The acting, style, directing, and technical work behind this drama is meticulous. Although Mafia dramas may not be everyone's cup of tea, Kin Porsche excels in its genre, and has set a new standard for the Thai boy love industry. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by GameMovieReviews.com and by the Kenny and Maddie Review Partnership, I Dream, in Boy Love.